Hello my wonderful and evil listeners. Welcome to another interesting news. Bruce Fain, the International Council and spokesman for NMD Kanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has said the IPOP leader asked him to inform Biafran that he is against the Biafran Republic government in exile, led by his proclaimed disciple Simon Elpa. He said Kanu described the Biafra Republic go- government in exile as strenuous to his quest for Biafra statehood. Biafra, officially the Republic of Biafra, was partially recognized in session, a state in West Africa that declared independence from Nigeria and assist, existed from 1960 until 1970. However, this, the secession plan later failed, but the indigenous people of Biafra have since renewed the advocacy to achieve a separate state of Biafra, which made up of Southeast Nigeria. In April, Finland-based Epa described himself as the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile. Simon Epa, in a letter to the United Nations, the United Nations General Assembly dated the 13th of April 2023, which he personally signed, urged the global community to recognize Biafra Republic government in exile, which he said was established to undertake the political and administrative governance of the Biafran nation from outside Biafra territory. He also appealed to the United Nations to prevail on the government of Nigeria to unconditionally release Inamdikano and all Biafran held captive in the dungeon in Nigeria and conduct a peaceful referendum to enable Biaf- to enable a peaceful and bloodless exit of Biafra from Nigeria. According to the letter obtained by reporters, Simon Elpa stated that the indigenous people of Biafra set up the Elzai government in their determination to exist the Nigerian state while enumerating a plethora of reasons why the indigenous people of Biafra I want the southeast southeast region of to exist from Nigeria. According to Simon Epa, the Biafran government in exile will undertake diplomatic and foreign relationship arrangement and agreement negotiation and pact with other nations and interest organization of the world on behalf of the Biafra people. But on Tuesday, Bruce Fain in a tweet said, Mazi Inamdekano has asked me to communicate to Biafrans his repudiation of the FWAG's Biafra Republic government in exile, transgenous to his quest for Biafra statehood. Stay away, the traitors has ostensibly established a presence in Maryland, United States of America. A steep legal price for perfidy is coming. Earlier in May, Simon Epa wrote to the ECOWAS court over the indefinite adjournment of a lawsuit brought before the regional court by the coalition of northern groups to seek a referendum for the Biafra Republic. This was seen in a letter signed by Simon Epa in his newly proclaimed capacity as the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile. The letter, which was dated May 8, 2023, and addressed to the community of the Court of Justice, ECOWAS Court. Bruce Fain said, Kanu described the Biafra Republic in exile as a transgenous to his quest for the Biafran statehood. Bruce Fain is an American lawyer who specializes in constitutional and international law. Fain has written numerous articles on constitutional issues for the Washington Times, Slate.com, the New York Times, the Huffington Post and Legal Times, and is active on civil liberties issues. 
He has worked for the American Enterprise Institute and the Heritage Foundation, both cons conservative think tanks, as an analyst and commentator. Bruce Fenn was a top Justice Department official under the Ronald Reagan administration. He has criticized the Bush, Clinton, and Obama presidencies. Under President Ronald Reagan, Bruce Fenn served as Associate Deputy Attorney General from 1981 to 1982 and as General Counsel to the Federal Communication Commission. During that period, he wrote a 30 page critique of Times versus Civilian and the Supreme Court ruling that freed American media from much of its liability under the liberal law in the United States. That memorandum was briefly misattributed to Judge John Roberts while his nomination to be Chief Justice of the United States was pending. In 1987, Bruce Fuen served as the Minority Research Director of the Committee in the United States House of Representatives that investigated the Iran Contra affair. The George Bush, George Bush Administrator Terrorist Surveillance Program, which intercepted some communications without a warrant from the Visa Court, incensed Bruce Fain enough to propose seizure or even impeachment of George Bush. He ridiculed Harriet Mayer's Supreme Court nomination and was sharply critical of then U.S. Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez. In March 2007, he founded the American Freedom Agenda with Bud Barr, David Keane, and Richard Vigre. Multiple published writing by Bruce Fain include articles advocating the impeachment of former United States President Bill Clinton and George Bush and of former Vice President Dick Cheney. On September 2, 2008, Bruce Fain addressed Ron Paul rally for the Republic in Minneapolis, offering a critique of the Bush administration's interventionist policy and advocating, advocating a more in non-interventionist foreign policy. Bruce Fenn also harshly criticized the anti-terror policies of the Bush White House, including by attacking and detention of terror suspects. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And I will see you on the next news. Please also let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. Bye for now.